But she said, if only I may catch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, you see the multitude thronging you, and you say, who touched me? <laughs> and he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. That's not it. I want to use your subject this morning. No cancellations, just changes. No cancellations, just changes. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Go ahead. Oh, no cancellation. No Just change. Just change. Turn to somebody else that they didn't hear and say, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. No cancellation. No cancellation. Just, change. Just change. Let us pray. <laughs> the eternal level blessed God, we ask that you bless the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And Lord, help me not so much to preach a good sermon, but one that will do some good for this body of Christ might be edified by having heard this preach. In the glorious name of Jesus, we pray a mass and a mass. No counsel.
I called to my friends in Philadelphia and they said, Rev, they just we just saw on the news that 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 all the schools are gonna be closed tomorrow. Already they call it for school closure. It looks kind of bad, kid. And I don't know whether you're you're, you're gonna make it, this one. And I, I got concerned. And I know I needed to, to be there. And uh, I moved through the day, I checked the news and whatnot, and sure enough, snow is coming. And they already got slush already, you know, already had snowed already before. Now they call it for much more snow. Uh, 
in your life.
she's talking to herself. She doesn't go and find a girl and get on the phone. Say, you know what? You just got it. She's not complaining or bitching, but what she's talking. Talking to herself. Tell me how you got to talk to yourself. You know, and, and, and I, 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 I used to tell a story right, right about 90 years ago. Uh, and something that's been with me long enough years ago, if, if you've heard this before, but this is a good place to go. As a guy going to here, had a little, little kid in a, in a grocery cart going in the grocery store. And they push the little kid down the aisle and kid, ah, 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 and just knocking the, the cans off the shelf. Ah, 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 and I said, no, man, just push it. Take, 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 take it easy now, but it's going to be all right now. But just, just, just calm down now, but it's going to go while long now. And the little boy, ah, 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 ah just turn that tear up the shelf. And it all has to go. He said, how about this? Just take it easy. Calm down. So finally, he pulled, gets to the cashier. And the cashier little girl saying, oh, sir, I, I want to commend you for the way you've been handling little Albert. Yeah, you know, I've seen a lot of people come to this store and these little kids act out of, out of, get out of order. They whip them real good. But you were calm. You, you were patient with little Albert. And he looked up to her. He said, ma'am, my name is Albert. That's my kid. <laughs>
Thank you.